just as a reminder, uh, I did not vote this uh, this uh, presidential cycle. Usually, I do vote in every election, including the off terms. Uh, since I have absentee ballot, I usually will do. Well, I can only do president, senator, and congressman because of local issues. Well, since they're not local, it doesn't happen that way. Uh, but I, I specifically did not I purposely. I was going to vote for a third party candidate. They said no because that still supports the system. So I didn't do that. I didn't vote at all. So uh, uh, now one of the reasons. I always have more than a few reasons. One of the reasons I didn't uh, vote in this thing, I said, look, this is what the choice is between one white supremacist, one Anglo racist white supremacist versus another Anglo racist white supremacist. Yes, Hillary Clinton is a racist Anglo white supremacist or Anglo racist white supremacist, like I like to say. Look her up, okay? <laughs> she, she killed Africans along with, 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 with Obama, so he even does the agenda of, you know, racist. Uh, white supremacist, Anglo-racist white supremacist, you know, killing Africans, I don't get with that, okay? Uh, yeah, I'm specifically talking about Somalia and, 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 and Libya, not to mention the brown people around the world, we're talking about, uh, you know, uh, Yemen and as well as, uh, uh, well, they're black, uh, as well as uh, Honduras, which is, that's the Honduras flag right there, I have an affinity towards Honduras. Anyway, let me get back to the point. Um, and I just, I just, I just couldn't get rid of it. I said, "Well, look, this is a, this is a fight between two Anglo racist white supremacists. So I'm staying out of it. Let them. I mean, they need to adjust their, their, their problem. If, if, uh, if uh, Anglo racist white supremacists, you know, or if people who aren't Anglo racist white supremacists, if they, if, if they can't deal with them, why should I?" Do I deal with it? This is your problem, okay? I know I'm resilient. I'm, I'm collateral damage. When I say I'm collateral, I'm talking about uh, talking about like uh, uh, black people. We're black, brown, red. You know, we're we're you know, yellow. We're we're uh, collateral damage in this scheme. That's uh, that's the United States of North America. Remember, the United States of North America is basically they basically do this bully thing. They they gang up. You know, that's 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 how they do. You know, they they don't they don't go one on one. They they gang up. You look at the history. Believe me, they they gang up. Anyway, back to the point. But everybody's on this tizzy over uh, President uh, elect uh, Donald J. Trump. And I'm going, I'm looking at this, I'm just going, like, okay, you know, I have to leave. Since I didn't partake in the elections, I'm just going to leave this thing alone altogether because this ain't going to work for anybody. Okay, well, like it'll work for some people. The Anglo racist white supremacist, okay, <laughs> it'll work for them. Um, but one of the things that fascinates me. As uh, they they bring up they, they keep on bringing like bringing people like Hitler when I when they first started I, I was looking at Hitler I said no nah, he's more like Mussolini but you know I've since revised my 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 uh, my analysis I don't look at either one I'm not saying there's some Hitleresque or some Mussolini things but remember after World War II when the United States won they got all those documents of how they did stuff so a lot of the stuff that that Hitler was doing that Mussolini was doing it's incorporated automatically into the fabric that is the United States of North America the you know the the, the, the bullies of the world I mean really so so I leave that alone. So now, uh, so but I look at this thing. He's more like a, a recently, I, I guess, uh, 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 not too recently, but like Huey Long of Louisiana that became senator, you know, during the World War Two. No, not before World War Two, during the Franklin Delano Roosevelt era, he's a senator. He's more like that, like Tammany Hall in New York. You know what I mean? He's he's more like that. A little closer to that. Plus, in, in recent times, I guess uh, somebody did a, a really good analysis of how to deal with how to deal with Trump and, and, and with analysis of uh, Berlusconi of, uh, of Italy. I have a Berlusconi story, but I'm not going to tell you right now. So because of that, I let them do what they do. I'm 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 just through with that. Um, uh, and and you know the, the struggle continues. But I think that. Uh, you should just say, okay, they got that. They're doing what they do. Let the let the white let the decent white people fight that fight. The rest of us, we need to get back in our land, get our codes, and show up what we have. You know, um, uh, but do 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 our struggle. You know, without reacting to uh, to the Anglo racist white supremacists because that that's what they do. They want you to react to them, which means that you have to fight with them. Which means basically, what's that thing? Go, oh, you 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 fight. You lay down with, with pigs or with, in, in a slop or whatever have you. Then you become sloppy or whatever. It is. So um, so I leave that alone. Uh, however, um, and so I don't want to really make any more commentaries on, on Donald Trump. Um, I don't know if I'll be doing commentaries on the U.S. at all. I don't, I don't know what's going to happen in the future. I can't say. Um, but I do need to say this. I will keep things up because there's a lot of people saying stuff. So I will keep tabs on this thing. And the, the, the sources I usually use, the sources I like in this thing, there's a, um, there's a, there's a website or a news website called uh, The Real News 
uh, com out of Baltimore. I love them. Those guys are great. So I look at that. Um, uh, another uh, site that I, I like to look up, talk about these in, in, the, in the comment section. Another site that I really like, that, that, the reason why I don't have to do this is because the white guy that comes closer to my kind of thinking, how to strategize and all this stuff, is a guy called Jimmy Dore. He's online. He's part of also, somehow he has an association with the Young Turks. But, uh, but uh, the, Jim, the Jimmy Dore show, D O R E. I love this guy. This guy is, I guess he's of my generation too, so he, he thinks like me, he has the same analysis. So I'd rather uh, go with him. Another side, of course, I was just in, well, democracy, oh, basically, basically a happy anniversary. Democracy's Proxy Now is 20 years old, so happy anniversary. Uh, I do have a, uh, an association with Democracy Now. I'll look at my website and you know, you'll, you'll, you'll see. Um, so shout out to them. So uh, uh, those those are my basic uh, three three. Well, I, don't re I just get snippets of democracy. And I don't really follow them that 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 much. Another site that I look at uh, for for other to get me more more on the black tip is a uh, Black Agenda Report. Black Agenda Report, um, and that's what uh, Glenn Ford. So um, so that's why my main references. Of course, there's other stuff that happens all around that I that I that I check out. But more right now it's about studying all the rest of that stuff. So make your adjustments. Uh, if you want to react to 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 Trump, uh, you can. Uh, but I would say this, just this lastly, if my looking at and looking at this, I know if Hillary had won, then I think she would have disappointed women, just like you know Barack Obama disappointed blacks or went against black agenda. I think that Hillary would have went against women's agenda. You know, with Trump was kind of interesting. I think. Remember, I think. Remember, look at all the people. He, he, the establishment one. Now, how has all these establishment people in, he's appointing into his cabinet? Well, there's some radicals, but there's also, when I say radicals, I mean people like Ben Carson, whatever have you. So, 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 so what happens with that is, uh, is, 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 is basically, uh, he's, he's going to, I think he's going to disappoint his base, the people that elected him. He's going to disappoint those people. He's going to, he's going to turn coat, just like, uh, you know, the president, you know, the brother president turned coat, just like I think the woman president was going to turn coat. I think that the, uh, the people that elected, uh, or the, the, the main forces that, that elected Donald Trump, they're going to be, uh, they're going to be um, disappointed. He's going to turn on them. That's just the way it is, because it's the United States, North America, and you know what they do. You know, they roll the way they roll. Anyway, this has been me. T from the Patterson's taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.